Hello everyone, this is uh, Sean back with another shaving video for you and today I'm going to uh, feature a product from Germany. The, it is the Spike Blue Shaving Cream. Yes, so this is what I'm going to feature today. The Spike Shaving Cream and the Spike Aftershave Balm. This shaving cream comes in this handsome blue box. And the cream comes in this tube and um, a description of it is at the back. And uh, this is the tube of the aftershave balm and uh, an overview and description is at the back. And for today's shave, I will use the Merker Future equipped with a Gillette uh, Nasset blade and I'll keep the setting at two and to apply the cream I will use this synthetic shaving brush from Fenderhen and here's the packaging of the Gillette Nasset stainless blades they come with five blades per pack and I will soak my brush and razor in this uh, coffee mug with warm water Okay, so here we go. Let's get into the shave. I'm going to rinse my uh, face off with warm water to start uh, in preparation for the first pass. This will be a three pass shave and I'll just apply the cream directly onto the brush. And uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and uh, lather it all around. Make sure uh, my face has um, excellent uh, protection against uh, irritation. Um, I'm very glad that this um, particular shaving cream has been formulated for bo both normal and uh, sensitive skin. I tend to have a sensitive skin so uh, it gets irritated rather easily. So here we go. First pass with the grain. Perhaps the most uh, important uh, pass of the shave. Um, yeah, uh, this uh, cream feels uh, very nice, slick and smooth and uh, it has uh, such an amazing uh, scent. Um, the spike plant, uh, it's grown in the Austrian Alps and uh, originally uh, the uh, company founder, Walter Rau, um, he, uh, his company produced uh, soap bars uh, made from uh, spike extracts. However, he wanted to uh, expand uh, his operations even further. Um, so therefore, he... Um, created uh, these uh, shaving products uh, for men and um, yeah I'm getting a great uh, satisfaction um, out of this uh, cream um, when I first applied uh, the cream directly onto my brush it the texture of it looked uh, very similar to that of um, Pro Rasso but um, it uh, has a much uh, nicer scent more masculine so here we are applying um, the cream for the second pass and um, on the second pass I always uh, shave cross grain against the face um, yeah and um, this uh, company Spike uh, they've gone on to uh, receive uh, numerous awards and um, I really like how uh, these products are vegan and uh, gluten-free, lactose-free. Uh, so it's uh, much uh, better for the skin and uh, body. Um, I've um, <clears throat> tried uh, the uh, Spike uh, deodorant and um, it is uh, quite invigorating, invigorating and uh, powerful. And um, I certainly would not want to be uh, around uh, people who have asthma because uh, the scent is that powerful. So uh, if uh, by any chance you have uh, asthma, just be uh, careful. So um, here we go. Uh, third pass. Uh, going to go against the grain. And um, yeah, uh, I... Uh, really uh, enjoy this uh, cream very much uh, just uh, to squeeze uh, all the remainder from the brush 
uh, make sure I have plenty of lather um, on the face for the best protection. So third pass against the grain. I always uh, like to have a baby smooth skin and um, yeah, I just uh, find uh, traditional wet shaving to be uh, such a uh, divine ritual. Um, certainly uh, much better than uh, shaving with disposable razors. Um, Gillette, um, they have produced an excellent blade in this particular case, the Nasset, uh, which uh, are produced in Russia. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, the uh, blade cream are uh, working their wonders against uh, my face. Oh yeah, I am enjoying it very much. Just uh, finishing up here before um, I get to uh, the aftershave. Uh, yeah, just do a final cleanup there and uh, rinse my face off with the uh, cold water. Uh, yep. And uh, <laughs> there we go, big smile. Uh, look uh, nice uh, and uh, handsome. And the finishing touch, the aftershave bomb. And yes. Okay, well, I have to say that was a very uh, refreshing shave, to say the least. Um, my uh, cheeks are all nice and smooth. That's the most important thing. Um, I decided to go with the uh, three-pass shave. And, um, yeah, this uh, shaving cream from uh, Spike is uh, very uh, refreshing. It uh, provides immense comfort to uh, the contours of one's skin. And um, Walter Rau, in uh, my opinion, uh, was a very uh, inventive uh, man who was very far ahead of his time by um, innovating uh, all these uh, products for um, the common man. Um, yeah, I'm uh, very satisfied with this uh, shaving cream. Uh, when I uh, first initially uh, applied uh, the cream to my brush, it... Uh, the texture of it looked uh, very similar to that of uh, Purasso, uh, the kind of Purasso shaving cream that comes uh, in that uh, too. But um, I find this uh, particular uh, cream much more enjoyable with the uh, Spike extract. Um, it's very soothing and uh, it uh, really uh, invigorates uh, the senses. Yeah, I'm uh, wide awake now, and um, yeah, a very uh, soothing shave. So, on uh, a scale of 1 to 10, I would uh, rate uh, this shaving cream as a 9.5. Um, like I mentioned, um, it's uh, such a wonderful product, uh, very uh, superior to that of... Uh, any other kind of uh, shaving cream that you would find in a tube. And um, yeah, and best of all, it's uh, natural, it's uh, vegan, it's gluten free and uh, lactose free. And um, yeah, I think um, the uh, Austrian government should uh, take uh, better care to uh, preserve these uh, specific plants. Uh, prevent them becoming uh, endangered because, um, yeah, it uh, has uh, such uh, fine medicinal qualities, in my opinion. Um, let's take a look here. I'm just going to read off some of the uh, ingredients in verbatim. Uh, yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Excuse me for one minute. I still have the box. Uh, do, 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 do. It's got aqua, potassium, stearate, uh, potassium palmitate, potassium cocotate, glycerin, uh, sodium stearate, sodium uh, parlorate. Um, I mean, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> I don't think I actually need to uh, read those off for you. Uh, you can um, experience uh, the results for yourself by uh, try trying one of these. 
And um, I think um, you'll agree that uh, Spike uh, shaving cream is uh, quite amazing. Okay, so just to recap uh, for the shaving cream, obviously it's the uh, Spike uh, Razier Cream. <laughs> and uh, for the post-shave, the uh, after-shave balsam sensitive. This is a product that's for uh, both uh, regular and uh, sensitive skin. I uh, tend to have a uh, sensitive skin, so um, my uh, face uh, marks up uh, rather easily. And um, for the brush, a uh, Fender Hen, I don't know if you can see that, it's a synthetic brush. Yeah. And um, for the razor, it's the uh, Merker Fruiture. And uh, I placed uh, a Gillette Nasset blade inside of it. I'll just uh, show the uh, packaging for you. The Gillette Nasset uh, stainless uh, blades. And um, for to uh, hold uh, the brush and uh, the uh, razor in place to soak them, I use this uh, trusty old uh, coffee mug. So there you have it, uh, Spike shaving cream and uh, the aftershave balm. Uh, very uh, superior product and um, yep, I uh, hope that you were satisfied with uh, this presentation uh, presented to you. Uh, please like, comment and uh, subscribe to my channel and um, I'll just uh, feature a couple of other uh, products uh, from Spike before signing off. If you want to enjoy the scent of the Spike extract in the shower, there's this uh, two-in-one uh, hair and body wash. And for long-lasting all-day protection, there's also the Spike deodorant stick. Well, um, that uh, just about wraps it up. I do want to thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Take care of everybody.